So, my roommates are loud, but I want to vlog because I don't want to read about philosophy anymore. Um, so I've officially reached four months, and it's been difficult. The last couple of weeks, I have felt so hormonal, and all I've wanted to do is kiss a guy. But I am proud to say that I haven't, and that is a big accomplishment, I guess. Um, I miss Dan. It's hard, I guess, but he is worth the wait, yeah? Um, ooh, I redid my Dan wall. It's pretty awesome. It goes on forever. But, um, yeah, he's doing good. It sucks. He is horrible at writing letters. And so I often, like, I'll, I write him every Sunday, and then I send him off on Monday or Tuesday. And so I have been good, and I haven't missed a single week yet. And he will write every once in a while. He just doesn't have a lot of time, and I understand. But it still sucks, you know. We all want to hear from our men. And I miss him. Um... I have, I do get emails, which is nice, but I also hate how I don't get to talk to him on Mother's Day. He only has 30 minutes, and I don't want to step into their family time, so I'm going to not, I'm going to choose not to talk to him for those couple minutes, because I think his mom would be mad. <laughs> she loves me, but if I were to take any of those 30 minutes, their whole family would be mad. But, um, yeah, we'll see if Christmas they feel okay letting me talk with him. I really hope so, because that will mark our year. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but MG life is fun and tough and confusing and twisted and triangular. I don't know, lots of weird corners and turns and things that you don't expect. But, um, I don't know, I'm choosing to take this opportunity and grow. Um, I've made sure to, every, every week I go to the temple, which I didn't do before, and I have grown so much spiritually. And, um, scripture reading. I have been reading like crazy. And, um, oh, uh, where are my scriptures? Oh, I'll show you in a different blog. But, um, Dan got me, like, these little pocket Book of Mormon. And he told me, like, th like he sent it in a package for my birthday. So, like, right after he left. And, um, he was like, so uh, every page, write something on it. So I have gone through and, like, analyzed every single page, or at least one or two verses, at least, that apply to me. And every time I read, I try to find something that's applicable. And I've been jotting it down. And my testimony has grown a lot. I also, um, I love volunteering at the MTC. Today I went and, oh my gosh, side note. So at the MTC there's this couple and um, they were talking and they wanted my number so that if they had to miss something, like, they could call me. And then they twisted it into, oh, we're going to give my son your number as well so that he can take you on a date. He's fallen away from the church. He's a smoker. And we think that you'd be perfect for him and bring him back. And I was just like, uh, I have a boyfriend. And they're like, it's okay. We'll still give it to him. And I'm like, what the? Yeah. So life, right? Mm -mm -mm. So we'll see how that goes. If I get an interesting phone call from a smoking drinker that is a big, rough teddy bear as the dad described him I will make a funny vlog because this is going to be entertaining but um yeah odd um so anyways at the MTC I, today I got to work with some sister missionaries and it's just amazing I work as a volunteer and I act like an investigator or a less active member and it's just the most amazing experience so if any of you girls are in Provo or Utah area and you want to fill the spirit like none other, come to the MTC with me, and I will bring you, and we can investigate together, and it's the best, but, um, oh my gosh, after I was done volunteering, the missionaries wanted to hear me sing, because I'm a singer, and so, like, I went outside and sang for them, it was the most embarrassing thing, like, all the missionaries walking around, like, stopped and, like, listened to me, oh. <laughs> but it was fun, and, um, yeah, I, I just, wanted to say that it's hard when our guys aren't here, you know? It's hard 
when there's so many other people here that want you, but you only want them, but you only have all these people here. There are like six guys after me right now, and it's awkward, and it's weird, and I tell them no, but inside I'm just like, I just want to kiss a guy, I just want to kiss you, but I won't, I'll be good, because MGs, yay, um, no, I just love my boy. Love him too much to do that. And I mean, I've dated him for two and a half years, so what's two years? And I'm a sixth of the way done, finally. Yay! Um, that makes me pretty excited. Uh, he's the guy I'm in love with. I mean, ever since we first started dating, like, he's just the one that makes me smile. He makes me happy. I, I think about him, and I just, I can't fall, help but fall more and more in love with him. He completes me however cliche that sounds but um he's an amazing guy he's also a butt and he's a dork and I love him so much but yeah he says that he loves me and whatnot I'm trying not to distract him too much because he's just in Arizona and I'm in Utah I mean it's so easy if he wanted to come home so I'm like trying to you know, not be too lovey-dovey, because when I am, he's just like, I want to come home right now, and so I have to be careful, but it makes this way interesting, I guess. <sighs> I just want to marry him already. Boo. But, girls, we're awesome, and I love you all, and I hope that you guys are all doing good, and whatever month you're on, that you're rocking it, because we got this. And if any of you ever want to talk, you should hit me up or text me or something. And we should be friends. Because, like, my homegirl Kenzie and Heather and Lindsay, Sal. I'm like, I've made some really good friends with you guys. And I'm, I want to make more. I love support. And I love supporting you. So we should be BFFs. Yeah. And if you go to BYU like me, we should even be better friends because then we can hang out. And if you're a nursing major, we should be friends because we're studying the same thing. And yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can't tell I'm just tired and well, I get to have a girls night tonight though with my boyfriend's cousin. Yeah, we're going to make no-bake cookies and watch chick flicks and ball our eyes out and just have a good night. I'm looking forward to it. Anyways, so I just wanted to vent a little. Look up the song White Dress. It makes me so happy. I listen to it like almost every day. <sighs> I can't wait to be married. <laughs> okay, um, well this has gone long enough. But I love you guys. And this is vlog number dose. Um, I don't even know what I talked about this whole time. But, yeah. I... Ooh, look at I finally filled in my da dots so far. I'm almost to the top of the pier. So I just thought I would share that. Yay! Um, have a wonderful Saturday, Sunday, whenever you watch this. And I hope to hear from you all. Let's do this, MGs. Let's rock this. And love your boys. They're amazing. Don't give up on them. I know it's easy to feel that way at times. I felt so that way so many times recently this week because I've been surrounded by like major hotties. Oh my gosh. This week has been like a week of temptations, but it's okay cuz I just I look at my wand I'm like, "Yep, yep, yep. He's my guy." Yeah. No doubt. So yeah. Um I love you all and have a great week. Bye.